Okay, really tricky game, the next one. Because we don't know what we're going to get from either side, home or away. Fine order, minus 115, fair enough. But Lazio will have their uh, favours here at plus 280. The draw is also a runner at plus 290. The under or over is at two, 275 with the minus 118 with the over. Lazio plus 200 to score twice. Fine order, they, they don't keep many uh, clean sheets and they love to go forward. But minus 125, Marco here. Um, Fine odd Lazio, tough, tough game. Really interested to see what the chat thinks of this game as well because do you trust Lazio on the road? Do you trust Fine odd against Italian opposition? Yeah, I'm. I wasn't going to be involved in this game, but then I saw the numbers and <laughs> it's perplexing why yes. Fine odd are minus money um, I know. at home to Lazio. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't got too much meat on the bones here, but. They might be Dutch champions. They're playing great football. Um, they're in great form. They're scoring goals domestically. They gave Atletico a great game on match day two. But minus money at home to Lazio um, doesn't add up to me. Um, an Eredivisie team against a, a Serie A side. Yeah, I have to question that. What the market is saying here is if these two teams are playing at a neutral venue, final would be firm favourites still. I disagree. Um, I think Lazio, of course, haven't been anywhere close to the standards of last year. But they have picked up four points in this group from... Games against Atletico and away at Celtic. Yes, they weren't completely convincing at Celtic, but they picked up the win. They have shown signs of recovery more recently. Three wins in four. Uh, <clears throat> the win against Sassuolo, they were giving a bit of a help helping hand in that game. But even still, they are trending in the right direction. My numbers here have finaled around about a plus 130, plus 140 shot. So minus 115, I, I'm struggling to kind of work out why or how that can be. So <clears throat> that's all I'm going to give you because... I don't have the, the answers for it. I'm just going to back Lazio plus half a goal. Lazio double chance. Yeah. Back Lazio to avoid defeat in this match because I just think the final price is wrong. Yeah, I think I think draw is probably on the cards with Lazio. Having all the tools, though, to hit a final side who love to just go on the front foot. Meaning that Lazio just break it up and hit them on the break and be lethal. They might only have four or five shots on goal, but they might score twice. I think that Lazio double chance is the way to go. If you get beat, fair enough. But I think if you have Lazio and the win against this side and you're still getting under Feyenoord's price to win the game, then it's a no-brainer, Mina. Yeah, I think that is actually our best bet of going forward because you, if, if you look at sort of the Europa League, they faced each other last season and they each won their home match. Um, Feyenoord, we know, can definitely score goals. Uh, we saw their game against Atletico Madrid and, and obviously Atletico did score the own goal to give, them, um, to give them a hand at the start of the match. And they managed seven shots on target, 17 shots overall. So we know that they have the firepower. I am still dubious about their finishing when it comes to more quality opposition and better defending. But Lazio... Lazio, everyone said last year that they they were much better than everyone thought that they would be. And um, and I don't know. I think Maurizio Sarri might have lost the likes of um, Milinkovic Savage. And that's been one of the things that they've really found difficult to, to try to deal with at the start of the season. But in these last few matches, you've really seen Sarri's tactics take place. I think they were fantastic over the weekend against Sassuolo. Their ability to really control that midfield, you saw... You saw them really coming to life. Even the likes of Guendouzi, for example, who seems at home right now. Luis Alberto. Um, Chiro Immobile is back for this game as well. So that's another forward that they can rely on going forward. I think that they're back to being compact. They're back to being mentally strong. They're now capable and more comfortable in the instructions that Sari has to give. He notoriously came out, he came out sorry, rather, and said, I'm notorious in the sense that I, I, I take a while to really teach my tactics to a new team and so many of my players have arrived later on in the transfer market so I haven't had much time now that I have you're trying you're starting to see the real Lazio I think right now when you look at their capabilities on the ball frankly speaking even when they haven't been good they've had 20 or 40, 30 minutes in each match in which they've been brilliant not necessarily been able to make the most of it but I think they are a side going forward that I think can cause some damage Obviously, I agree with you guys. Double chance is the safest option to go, but I can't see something like plus 280 and not think that I just go for the money line and believe in the Italian boys.
Yeah, and Lazio to score twice. You think, I mean, there's there's your caveat as well. You could actually go with Lazio plus 280 on the money yeah. line and exactly. have Lazio over one and a half at plus 200 because if Lazio score twice, it doesn't mean they're going to actually win the game here. Uh, and you've got, and if they do and they win 2-1, then you've hit both, which is like plus 480. Uh, okay, let's have a little look at the official picks here, please. As you can see, I left it alone, but Lazio double chance minus 108 was the obvious way to go on numbers. If you just look at the numbers and you've got an away side who potentially are on a par, and yet you're getting around plus 100, minus 110 for both results, uh, Lazio money line plus 280. So it's all about the visitors not getting beat, and uh, Mina's gone for the big one. 